like give it an inch, he'll take it a mile. And uh, Scoos will be uh, playing Crom today. Um, I would assume Krom does pretty well just because, like, I think any sword character does well into Kirby in theory, but he's going to have to really watch out for um, offstage shenanigans because, like, Kirby can be anywhere offstage against uh, pretty much any of the whole cast, and Krom's pretty susceptible to getting edge guard, so that's going to be a really big uh, hurdle to get over. But if Scoos kind of plays, like, a more, like, just neutral heavy game and just... The second he gets like a, like, a, like a down tilt, oh, he's double jumping. Yeah, he might be dead already. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's got to watch out for those double jumps because uh, Jalav is definitely going to be ready for any of that to call it out. And once you don't have a double jump and you're off stage, then you have to use up B. Kirby's going to, like, kill you every time. Up tilt. But yeah, already racking up 76%. Trying to inhale, he wants to get Shield Breaker. Ooh, I kind of like the counter. He kind of knew that up tilt was coming in. F tilt. I think Kirby only has one more jump. Ah, I couldn't really get anything off of that. I think he, he should have gone for back air instead, but I think he really wanted that down air. And, oh, he's getting killed for the, his troubles. Ooh, good, good, good uh, parry. Ran to fair, but not getting a whole lot off of that. There we go. Getting a kill. That run, the run up, turn around uh, back air. Down here into nothing, but it looked like he could have gotten like maybe like a jab if he didn't uh, fade back so far. But he's got to be careful without using these uh, double jumps. Down tilt, down tilt. Ooh, getting the parry on, on that uh, jab. So returning to center stage. I think that's a pretty good idea. I don't know what Crom's like combo game off of grab is, but I know you can start something off of like down throw, but. Scoos is opting to go with up throw instead. F tilt, he's using that double jump already. He's out. Game one goes to Chalava. Yeah, uh, strong showing by Chalava as always. Scoos, to be honest, like his neutral wasn't too bad, and like he was making up some pretty good calls once he like actually had like the advantage, but. I think he just needs to work on his uh, disadvantage a little bit more. Like, throwing out the, like, double jump as soon as you can get out of hit stun. Like, it might be good if you're, like, a floatier character, but with, like, Krom, like, you need as many movement options as possible, especially if you end up getting knocked off stage. So if you double jump and Kirby's already in the air and then he back airs you off stage, now you have to do a uh, up B or, or, like, a, or a air dodge. That up tilt. Not getting anything off of that. Jab. F tilt, not really getting anything off of that. Ooh. I don't know if uh, Chilava was like, expecting attack on that. Getting the trip into fair. Okay, there we go. Double jump into the air dodge into the platform. Carver's actually reverses the situation a little bit. Jab into kind of missing the back air. A bit of, a, a bit of an execution flub. Down till nothing. Getting final cuttered. Yeah, Chill is starting to get an idea like how the timing for the uh, down tilts and the jab are, so he's starting to like parry a little bit more often. There we go. Recover. Roll in to get back to center stage. There we go, jab into back air. A little too far, like, tar far into the center stage, so it's definitely not going to kill Kirby, but this one should. There we go. Taking the first stock. Taking the lead. And, all right, got the air dodge. He's using jump, then going up there. Like, nice. Recovered. So he gets the fair and the nair. Quick little bread and butter for 24%. percent we'll go for Dancing Blade. Not quite hitting the whole thing. I was trying to call something out here. He's slowing way down. And Dancing Blade has said, put Kirby back up in the air again. That up tilt can send him back up. Yeah, 
Yeah, he really wants to get this uh, this back air to get like to finish the stock. Yeah, so Chilada's starting to like play a little too slow, it seems like. But I do understand he has to be careful, especially now. Oh, that's gonna kill that back throw. I uh, don't think there would have been like any optimal DI to like survive that, but good call on the roll, gets the jab in the back air again, put Kirby off stage. I'm surprised he has to try using counter. I'm not sure if that would actually work on Kirby in final because like the final cutter might be too fast. Uh fair, missing the back air, but getting the second one. Ooh, F Smash gonna call it, uh, take out Scooze. Gonna miss that. There we go, F Tilt. All right, strip tied up. Oh, he's gotta be careful here. All right, back in center stage, that's fine. Then the grab, not being able to get the throw though. There, two, but not getting anything off of that. Got uh, back air into nothing again. Good tech. Avoiding the jab block from Kirby. Parry into back air, but it's a sour back air, so not getting a whole lot. Smart Scoot's kind of like prioritize just getting to center stage instead of trying to like land with a hitbox. Down tilt, not going to quite get anything. Ooh, that's not gonna quite kill, but it's starting to get a little bit scary for Kirby. Back air, not gonna kill. Ooh, that dash check. I wonder if the uh, weak hit might like let into a back air, like a turnaround back air, if it was like the very final hit. Like kind of like how Fox will do a late dash tack into the ledge. All right, this might be scary. Yeah, he can't make it back. All right, 2-0 for Chalaba. Very good though, very good showing by Skews. Yeah, I'm not sure if uh, Skews comes from uh, like a different region or uh, or this is like one of his first tournaments or maybe he's been here before. I just don't know. But regardless, it, it was a pretty decent showing. I uh, I like the Crom.